Oh, that honey bun's getting to me. It's up at the house real quick, and I'm ready to pass out and go to sleep. It's uh, uh, fishy time, not sleepy time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. What do you got? What'd you get? What'd you get? Wait, wait, wait. Reel it in. <laughs> what? Over here. <laughs> He's talking to you, huh? He's saying, cook me. I want to be your dinner. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got a hook in these fish. Yeah, that's okay. Well, here we are walking in the woods and we were supposed to get to the river before the storm came. I knew that the storm was gonna come, but I didn't think it was gonna come this fast. We had to hurry up and find cover like now because there's lightning in the area and that's not very safe. Love you. Oh my goodness, the river's dry. Oh man. I know, y'all, this is not good. We are getting poured on right now. Lightning is everywhere, but as you can see, we're in kind of a swampier area. So we're getting close to the, to the river, but there's a lot more stuff to make a shelter out of, like dead logs that have floated down and stuff like that. Oh, you found the water? Oh, there's the bridge. Let's go under that bridge. We're going to head up underneath this bridge. That way we're out of this rain, at least until the lightning stops. So let's head down there. What? We're going to pee down there. Hang on. Oh. Wait for me. Don't pee on my head. Are you crazy? You better not pee on me. Come here. There you go. Whoa. Come here. Whoa. Under this bridge. Oh, look at this. Nice. I told you it'd be nice and dry under here, right? Yeah. So we're under this bridge, and it's actually working pretty good if you're out of the rain, except that I have these, these holes in this bridge. I'm going to grab some palm fronds so just on top of us to block those holes out so that we can get a little bit less wet. That did not work. There we go. All right, we're under this bridge. We're gonna hold this rain off, and as soon as it clears out, we're gonna head down to the river and actually do what the plan was today. <laughs> One eternity later. Hey, there it is. We found the river. All right. All right, let's set up and see if we can get a fire started in the rain. <laughs> All right, we just got to a pretty good spot. Like, look behind me. Right there is where our fire's going. Uh, the boys are just hanging out. I'm going to go find some wood to get this fire going, which is going to be very challenging because it is wet as heck out here. But we're going to make it happen somehow, one way or another. You guys are so nice. The boys are sharing a towel because we only brought one for some silly reason. Just stay there, David Jr. Just stay there. Hey, no fighting. Whoa, you pushing. Oh, just stay there. I'm going to make a fire, okay? I just love it when they get along. <laughs> All right, we got to find some good wood. It's going to be very tough to find any wood that is dry enough. Um, I did bring some fat lighter. So that is definitely gonna help us get this fire going. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I will show it to you in just a quick second. And it, I mean, it is the, the fire starter of a dream, fat lighter wood. You know, underneath, like in the bottom of all these palm fronds that are sticking out, you can find some dry stuff. Like that one right there is not soaking wet. And those are amazing fire starters. These palm fronds, they, like I said, they work amazing. They're good to have on the bottom of your fire. Then get some small branches like this above those fronds. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Just like that. As long as we get some of that lighter wood going, we're gonna be good. All right, you see, that? You see this lighter wood is catching right now? That means that we're in business. Well, here we are. Fire's going. I'm going to get a rod rigged up and see if we can't find either a gar or a catfish or something in this water. Not sure if it's going to work out or not, but uh, we're going to do our best. Got a little tilapia here um, just from our reserve that we have at home. And I'm going to cut him up and put him on a little hook and also throw a whole one out there. Um, that way, you know, if a gar or something like that wants to eat it or a catfish, then we'll be good. That's all I'm doing there. Little tiny piece on just a tied bullet weight, actually, because I didn't bring any other weights and we're gonna do that.
What do you got? What'd you get? What'd you get? Wait, wait, wait. Reel it in. Get it done, Okay. Let me help you lift it up. No, no, no. Hang on, hold this and I get my spear. Will you hold that? Don't pull it up. Oh no. Look what you got! Peace, watch, watch, peace, watch, so that was not easy to record, and I know it was a mess, but David just caught himself a nice channel cap. <laughs> oh my gosh, that fish is so slimy. I know, that's a catfish. Oh my gosh, I, now I'm gonna eat this fish, it's so yummy. Daddy. You wanna eat that fish? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Daddy. Huh? I wanna get one fish. Okay, let's put that in the water and see if we can catch another one for you, okay? Okay? okay. okay. Alright, and then while you're trying to catch one, we're gonna use him to eat for dinner, okay? Here he is. I gotta get that hook, that little tiny hook out of his mouth. Wow, he was hooked pretty dang good. David, you set that hook pretty good. Hang on, what happened? A big, a big, because a big fishing pool, he, he, he bought the fishing pool and then he got away and then the fishing pool almost gone in the water. He almost pulled that fishing pool in the water? Yeah. But you rescued it, huh? Yeah. Nice. Try it. Try to reel it in. Pull it. Is there a fish on there? Yes. No. It's Luke's turn. It's Luke's turn. Get back. Reel it in, Lukey. Get that fish. Would you get one? Let me help you out. Let me help you. Pull that. Reel it in. Turn that, Lukey. Turn that. Reel it in. Reel it in. Turn it, Lukey. Just turn it nice. Yeah. Turn it. Yeah, you did. Look at that. And we did get another one too. Nope, it's loose. Oh, I think that's a big one, Luke. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Put it up here in the in the out of the dirt. It's my turn, Dad. Look at that fish, Lukey. High five, dude. <laughs> Man, Lukey just demolished a nice channel cat. Hey, you want to clean that fish and cook it? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Good boy. I'm going to hold it. Right there. Good job, Luke. <laughs> All right, let's clean him up. Daddy, uh. he just said, da, 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 da. He's talking, huh? You want to clean him? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's clean him. <laughs> He's talking to you, huh? He's saying, cook me. I want to be your dinner. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got a hook in these fish. Yeah, that's okay. Well, that was just the knife. Daddy, where's the big other fish? All right, let's clean this off in the water. All right, this is how we're gonna do our fish. We've got this palm frond. These ends will work very well for our fish. So what we're going to do is grab this stick right here. We're going to make that nice and sharp. There it is. There's that. Let's see what we can do here. What you want to do is poke some holes into your skin like that and like that. And once you have those holes in there, your stick will slide right in. So here's that on our stick. We are gonna wash this off again, but right now we're gonna go ahead and cook it. Some salt and some good old gator hammock. This is gator done. You don't gotta worry about going heavy on it. Pull her down just a little more and that should work good. There we go. What do you think, David? Oh yeah. What do you think, Luke? Yeah, like a mushmallow. 
All right, well, here we are. We have our catfish on a palm frond stick right there over the fire. And that fish should cook pretty quick, which is a good thing because it is getting dark on us out here. And we should be eating good pretty shortly here. Uh, probably just one at a time until they're a little bit older. Because if they're not fighting, they're complaining. If they're not complaining, they're hungry. If they're not hungry, they're full. If they're not full, their stomach hurts. If their stomach doesn't hurt, they have to go poop. If their poop doesn't have to come out, they have to pee. Goodness gracious. What? This is all done. It's almost done. You know, we caught two catfish. And from my experience, especially in this river, if you catch one catfish, just throw in your line exactly back where it was. 90% of the time or more, there's going to be a second catfish, which is it. And, and that's what happened today. So we're going to be eating pretty good. And there's smoke. <laughs> Who can get out of my face? <laughs> playing drums out here while your food is cooking. That is awesome. You guys, it's time to eat. Let's go ahead and eat. Well, as you can see, we've got background music, uh, background jungle music for our for our catfish dinner. But hey, it's time to eat. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and see how this turned out. Oh yeah, nice and nice and flaky. That's gonna be good. That smells so good. Eat it with your hands. It's okay. You don't have to use a spoon. It's very hot. Blow it. That's good? Mm. Awesome. Let me try. Mm. Get a nice piece there. Look, look, that's yucky. Yeah, I might have overdone it with the seasonings. Mm. You bite it, juice just like pops out. <laughs> David, trust him with Luke because I took his. Huh? Trust him with Luke. Luke, you share with David during this bottle over there. I eat it. Share all of it with him. Hey, be careful bones, okay? Yeah. Well, you guys, the boys are chowing down. Hey, this day has been awesome just out here in creation, you know, out here in the beautiful river. Um, catching catfish off the bank, cooking it right here. It does not get fresh as that. I love getting the kids out here just because, you know, it's going to teach them important things about life, how to, how to, you know, work hard to get what you need. Me and David had an awesome conversation about patience. Uh, which I'm not the best at, I'm not saying. Anybody who knows me knows that, but it's something that has to be taught, right? And it applies very well to fishing. Although today, we don't have to be too patient because those fish come up pretty quick and pretty easy. You guys, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing every single one of you in the very next one.